Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you three awesome link building techniques so you can get more high quality backlinks and improve your rankings in Google. And watch this entire training video because it helps you avoid getting penalized. Let's dive right in. I'm Nathan Gotch and I've led hundreds of successful SEO campaigns in my agency and I've trained thousands of SEO professionals in my SEO program, Gotcha SEO Academy. And in case you're new here, I'm leading this free SEO mastery training series. All of the previous lessons are below this video, so make sure you watch all of them after you complete this video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get first access to the next video in this series. Let's get started. So what are backlinks? Backlinks are simply links from other websites to yours, and they're critical to ranking in Google because of Google's original PageRank algorithm, which was built upon it. Over time, the types of backlinks you get has become even more important. For example, back in the day, you could acquire any type of backlink and it would boost your rankings. However, these days, your backlinks need to meet many different criteria to be considered high quality and safe. Now, before I explain those, you might be wondering, are backlinks still important? Well, this is a common question because people are often often looking for ways to not build backlinks because A, if done wrong, it can lead to a penalty and B, it isn't easy to acquire high quality backlinks. But that's exactly the reason why backlinks are a powerful ranking factor. For example, anyone can jam some keywords onto a page. However, not everyone can persuade other websites to link to them. That often requires creating something of unique value and promoting it to the right people with the right value proposition. More on this in a second. But back to my original question, are backlinks still important? Well, according to a ranking factor study conducted by SEMrush, they found that the more backlinks a domain has, the higher its position on the SERP. But they're not alone. Backlinko studied 11.8 million Google search results and found that a site's overall link authority strongly correlates with higher search engine rankings. Now to solidify this point even further, Rankings.io conducted a ranking factor study in the personal injury sector and found similar results. They said, while the number of referring domains per page appears not to influence rankings, the overall number of referring domains for the domain was a top indicator of overall domain traffic. So you get it. Backlinks are important for ranking, but as I mentioned, you can't just acquire any backlink and expect great performance. So here are five characteristics that high quality backlinks will have. Number one is relevance. You should prioritize link opportunities that are closely relevant to your website and what you offer. For example, if you're a Los Angeles personal injury lawyer, then in a perfect world, you would get links from other Los Angeles personal injury lawyers. But of course, this isn't practical because A, your competitors won't be willing to link to you, and B, the pool of opportunities will be tapped out very quickly. So that's why it's important to understand the concept that I created called the relevancy pyramid. In short, as you go down the pyramid, the link opportunities will become less relevant but more abundant. And that's why you need to start at the top of the pyramid and work your way down. Now keep in mind, getting links from extreme authority websites like New York Times, Forbes, etc., are always good links even if they aren't super relevant. Number two is traffic. If a website has organic search traffic, then Google somewhat trusts it, and the opposite is true as well. Go into SEMrush and enter the domain you wanna score a backlink on. If they have organic search traffic, then you're good to go. Number three is authority. Websites with more authority will give you more bang for your buck. Number four is link quality. So the truth is that it's easy to manipulate many of the third-party metrics that you'll find, so that's why it's important to analyze the actual link profile of the opportunity. So just go into SEMrush, enter the target domain, and click on backlinks. Examine the backlink profile, and if they look high quality, then move on to the next step, which is number five, editorial standards. So if it's hard to get a backlink on a website, it's more valuable and vice versa. For example, anyone can get a link on Facebook, which is why it has no value. However, it's very difficult to get backlinks on the New York Times, which makes it substantially more valuable. So now you know what backlinks are, why they're important, and the characteristics of a quality backlink. Now let's dive into some super simple data. Now one of the most important link building key performance indicators, or KPIs, is your total number of unique linking root domains. In other words, how many unique websites are linking to your website? And this is a critical ranking factor and it needs to be growing over time to improve performance and narrow the gap between you and your competitors. So open up SEMrush, enter your domain, and then go to the backlink gap tool. SEMrush will auto-suggest competitor domains, but if you wanna use different competitors, then go back to the organic research and click on competitors. Then copy and paste one to four competitors into the backlink gap tool. SEMrush will then provide you with authority score 
underscore and referring domains. If there's a gap, then you need to work to narrow this. Otherwise, beating your competition will be extremely tough. So now the question is, how do you actually narrow this gap? Well, my favorite and most scalable link building method is to create linkable assets. In other words, create content that people actually want to link to. The truth is that most people try to steamroll through thousands of link prospects and are simply playing the numbers game. And while this works to get initial traction, it's not the best long-term strategy. Just take a look at the three most linked to pages on gotcheseo.com, for example. My guide about backlinks, my super in-depth guide about an SEO audit, and thirdly, my super in-depth guide about anchor text. I haven't spent a single second trying to acquire backlinks to these posts. All I did was try to create something incredibly valuable and then promote it to my email list. That's it. If people have naturally linked to these pages because there's nothing else like it. But the truth is that there are certain types of content or assets that are proven to be linkable. But before I show you those, you need to find ideas that have proven linkability. And the best method is to simply look at your close competitors or websites in your vertical with who you don't compete with. Go to SEMrush, go to the backlink analytics section and enter a competitor's domain into the search. Scroll down and click top pages. These topics and the content itself are now your frameworks for what people like to link to in your specific industry. And you can, of course, take the same topic and put a twist on it or use it as inspiration to create a unique angle. Either way, I recommend trying the following three types of linkable asset frameworks. Number one is an ultimate guide plus a list post. So creating the most comprehensive guide on a topic works really well in industries where it's not overplayed. For example, if you try to create the ultimate guide on backlinks in the SEO industry, it will probably fail because it's majorly overplayed. However, if you did the history of plumbing in St. Louis, you'll likely strike gold because no one else is doing it in that vertical. Number two, data-driven content. So we created a case study with unique data analyzed in the top CMS is for SEO, and it now has countless backlinks from authority websites. Once again, we didn't do aggressive link acquisition. All we did was create a unique asset that no one else has created. Number three, tools, software, etc. Neil Patel acquired Ubersuggest a few years ago, and let's just say it helped his website's SEO performance. And the reason is simple. He inherited all of the backlinks from Ubersuggest and continues to get new backlinks because software and tools are super linkable. Now, there are many other types of linkable asset formats you can try, but these three are the tried and tested methods. So once your asset is created, how do you actually go about promoting it? Well, the first step is to find link prospects. And my favorite method is to simply find opportunities from your competitors. So in the previous step, you found ideas that have proven linkability. Now you can simply extract these opportunities from your competitor's link profile. So go into SEMrush, click on the keyword overview, enter your keyword, and then go down to the SERP analysis section. Open up the backlinks for the top competitor and click on follow. These are all of the opportunities you can reach out to and promote your linkable asset. And here's a simple outreach template you can use. And notice that I'm not asking for a link. The goal is to simply present our unique piece of value, and if they love it, they might link to it or at least share it on social media. The second method is to use SEMrush's link building tool. And this tool will give you link prospects for the keywords you're trying to rank for. Now keep in mind, you still need to qualify and prioritize the prospects because some may not be a good fit. Now, these two methods are great for finding pages that have linked to your competitors. However, there are several other methods you can use to accelerate backlink growth. Here are three of my favorites. Number one is the relationship accelerator technique. And this technique serves a dual purpose. Purpose. First, it can help you build relationships with key linkerati, which are people who are capable and willing to link to you, and it can help you score links with minimal effort. Now, there are a few different ways to go about doing this. You can host expert roundups, you can host interviews, or you can ask for an expert contribution to your content. For example, I had Miles Beckler on my SEO podcast, and he linked to a page where it was hosted on my website. Now, this technique works because there's a clear exchange of value. The experts get exposure, and you get to build a non-transactional relationship with them. And this exposure could potentially lead to a share or link to the content in the future. Number two is the Oprah technique. So I create a cool name for this technique, but it's super simple. You're going to get interviewed and land links. So just go to Google, enter interview plus niche or interview with plus your competitor and add all of these prospects to your link building database. Then just reach out and pitch yourself for the interview. 
Just use a simple template like this. And now number three is the LIS technique. So what qualities make people want to link to your website? Well, there are many qualities, but there's one that helps enormously and it's called length implies strength or LIS. So have you ever seen one of those super long sales letters that seems to scroll for decades? Well, that's not by accident. Long sales letters leverage heuristics, which in short is we as humans are lazy and we hate thinking. So we use mental shortcuts to make decisions, solve problems, pass judgments, etc. But what does this have to do with link building? Well, according to Backlinko study, long form content gets an average of 77% more links than short articles. And that means if you want more backlinks, then create long form content. For example, if you examine what pages have attracted the most backlinks on gotcha.seo.com, you would see that they are all of my longest pieces of content. In fact, the average word count for my top four most linked to content assets is 7,223 words. It's pretty insane, right? Well, here's the main takeaway. If you want more links, write longer in-depth content. But please don't take this out of context though. It needs to be well thought out and add massive amounts of unique value. So that is how you do link building like a pro. Now go out there and start getting some powerful backlinks. In the next video, I'm going to tackle local SEO, which is the process of ranking in Google's local pack. So please subscribe, like this video, and drop a comment below to show me you're excited about the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.